Lobats. Joker. I'm glad to see you have a garage, the old disguise kit. Matches strikes again. Tehe. <laughs> Cute. I'm never gonna finish this book. So what do I owe this unexpected pleasure? Just checking up on you. Not sure I'm even here. They've got me doped up on morphine. Not to mention an ass load of mood stabilizers and antipsychotics. That's why I'm here. I couldn't pass up the chance to have a somewhat rational conversation with you. Or at least a conversation during which you're not trying to poison me, hit me with that hammer, or feed me to kill her fish. It's what I do. <laughs> you remember when Luthor led you and the other Hitler youth in hopes of destroying the League with a corporate takeover? There was a moment when the Martian telepathically ordered your thought patterns into something resembling a brief state of sanity. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm telling you right now, I can't take you seriously in that get-up. I'm, I'm guessing your, your real face is in that briefcase. It is. I'll strap it on then. That mustache is creeping me out. So the last thing I remember when I was feeling all Whitney Houston in your arms while you argued with the right Reverend Gordon about the merits of keeping me from slipping loose this mortal coil. Naturally, if I'd had any strength whatsoever, I'd have bitten into your jugular while you were cradling me in your loving arms. But considering how it all worked out, I guess I should just say thanks. You're welcome. Which brings me to my question. We've been running the same pattern for some time now. You do something horrible, I track you down, you fight me dirty, I take you back to Arkham. My inner ear is so itchy. But during this rare opportunity in which you're not only physically restrained, but also momentarily psychologically balanced, I figure this is the best time to get some soul-searching truth out of you. So I'm here to ask you. Do you really want me dead? Do you really want to kill me? Uh, I don't know. Let me roll it over a little bit. Meantime, same question applies to you, Spooky. You want to see me dead? I used to think I'd be okay with you dying. We're getting killed. So long as it wasn't by my hand. Or the hands of any of my associates. When you skydived onto the roof of Gotham Central, I fantasized about your chute malfunctioning. And you pancaking onto a curb somewhere in the middle of the city. But in the moment of truth, with that knife sticking out of your chest, I couldn't do it. I couldn't let you die. For all the true evil you've done, the lives you've ruined, and the pain you've inflicted. I couldn't just stand there and watch you bleed out. Even though I knew it meant giving up a kind of peace I've never known before. A kind of peace I'll never know. Why do you think? Why not just enjoy the ultimate victory? I've watched people die before. I swore then Never again. My whole life. All of this. It's all because I never want to see death firsthand again. Interesting. I always thought your misguided sense of self righteousness came from some personal tragedy. I'm sorry. For whatever it was that happened to you. Which made you the way you are. But. But I do want to kill you. Oh. Oh. I imagine 
that's hard to hear. After you just opened yourself up to me like you did, I imagine in your head you saw this visit as a chance to work on the nature of our relationship while I'm temporarily not a frothing at the mouth, raving lunatic. You probably saw this visit <laughs> as a chance for a new beginning. Oh, but here's the cold, hard truth. Bats, I don't hate you because I'm crazy. I'm crazy because I hate you and your death. Preferably, but not necessarily by my hand, will mean an end to my reign of terror in Gotham. When you're gone, I'll stop hurting people I don't know. I'll stop with the mayhem and, and murder. I'll lock myself up in a hospital and run out my clock staring at the walls hopped up on premium grade pharmaceuticals that leave me so virtually lobotomized they'll have to catheterize and colostomize my holes to keep me from becoming a non-stop self-pissing and pooping mess. I can tell by your face that I've disappointed you, but you're a big, strong guy who's obviously familiar with disappointment and disillusionment, so I'm, I'm thinking you can handle this information. <laughs> yes, I want to kill you. And then, then we'll both finally be free. Since we're being super truthful, I should also tell you I saw a little bit of your junk when you were getting changed before.